Like I promised you today is new concepts, okay? New concepts. Uh, we're going to talk about differential equations. Differential equations. All right, Jonathan, Chris. Okay, so we're going to talk about differential equations, okay? Chris, I think. Chuka. Okay, this is called a differential equation. Oops. Are you this? I am, yeah. Uh, this is called a differential equation right here. Okay? The reason why it's called differential is obviously because of this derivative that you have in there. Okay? And the kind of differential equations that we're going to solve are of only a particular type. They're called separable. And you'll see why in a minute, okay? So the goal here is in order to solve the differential equation, what you want to do is you want to find f of x, and you guys know that that is the same thing as y, right? y is fx, okay? So you're going to try and solve for y. So the reason why they're called separable is because you can take this dy over dx equals x squared. Pretend that this is a fraction Pretend that this is a fraction, okay? Split it up, so you get dy on one side, and you get the x's on the other side, okay? And then you stick a giraffe in there, okay? And then you take, uh, stick a giraffe in there, right? And then you do your business off the integration. So when you integrate on the left hand side, what do you get? Remember there's a one here. There's a one here. What do you get? Every, I, it's amazing. I, some days you're hot, and some days it's like you come from the Arctic. I mean, like this answer was total BS crap. What, let's talk about the left hand side. What do you have on the left hand side? What's the integral of 1? What's the integral of 1? It's the y on the left hand side. How can it be x? It's y on the left hand side. It's y. And what's the integral of x squared? 1 over 3. x to the power 3. Okay, and what else do we need? What else do we need now? Plus c. Plus c. Okay? So. So this is a solution to this differential equation. And you can always check that by, if you differentiate this, see that you get this. See that you get that. So if you differentiate this on the left-hand side, you get dy by dx. What's the derivative of one-third x cubed? Sorry? And derivative of c? Zero. So see how this is the same as what you have here. Okay, so this equation, the solution that you got, okay, the solution that you got, this is called a general solution. It's called a general solution because there can be many equations because C could be anything, okay? C could be some number, and any one of those would satisfy this equation, okay? Leo, you're hella rude. You're playing games while I'm teaching? What are you... <laughs> Let's see now. Uh, playing games is like there in terms of evilness. Playing video is like there. <laughs> Same evil. Okay. All right. So that was a general solution. The next question, listen up, okay. The next question is what if I told you that f of 1 equals 2? So remember, this is what variable? And this one here, thank you. So what it's telling you is that when x is 1, y is 2. Go and shove it in this equation here and solve for c. Okay, so you're going to get 2 equals 0 plus c. So c is 2. Okay, so then your final particular equation you get is 1 third x cubed plus 
chi. This is your answer given this condition, given that condition. All right, you guys with me on this? Oh, did I say zero? My bad. My bad. Uh, so I need to go back and uh, fix this guy. That should be a one. Yes? So C is equal to one third. God, am I smoking, Henry? God, you infected me, dude. So C equals, which be 5 over 3. So this guy should be 5 over 3. Thank you for catching that. Okay, is everybody all right? Okay. So you guys understand how to do differential equations, right? You separate the y's and the x's, and then stick a giraffe there and do the integration. Okay? All right, you guys uh, work on this one here now. So I want to give some props to Heather here. Heather, thank you for working this out. And Heather's answer was y is equal to negative cosine x plus 2, right? Okay? Okay, you get good props there, girl. Thank you. All right. Uh, okay, so I want to do this problem here, okay? Example 8 on page 254. So you want to open your textbook to that page, please. 254. So this is the problem I'm going to work on, okay? Let's start working on it. So it tells you that a ball is thrown upward with an initial velocity of 64 feet per second from an initial height of 80 feet. So the problem really is saying that this is your ground, okay? And you're throwing a ball up there, okay? They want you to develop an equation for the position function. Position functions are given by the variable s. Okay, I have no idea why, but that's what it is. Okay, and it's a function of time. That's what they want you to find. Okay, convention is that up is positive, down is negative. That's the convention. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out with this equation here, okay, s double prime of t is equal to negative 32. Leila, tell the class what this is. Why negative 32? What's 32? You're a physics student. Gamer, you should know what 32 is. You've been taking physics for a semester and a quarter? The law. Hello? First law of acceleration. Thank you. Thank you. Gravity. It's acceleration due to gravity. 32 Oh, you guys are probably using 9.81. Yeah. Oh, you don't do. Wait a minute. How can you not do imperial system? That's what this country lives on. Uh, no wonder we lose satellites. We're trying to, we're trying to think like everybody else. Whoa, 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 whoa,
Nice. Nice. Second derivative. Okay? So if I integrate a second derivative, so remember this is called the acceleration function. Okay? If I integrate it once, if I integrate once, what do I get? Layla? From acceleration, what do you get? Sorry? No, no, no. What do you get? What's the quantity that you get? What's it called conceptually? Sorry? Thank you. Velocity. And if you integrate one more time, what do you get? Wait a minute. You started with acceleration, man. This is not budge pi time, okay? This is math time. Remember, this is being recorded. Okay? Hello? When you integrate velocity, what do you get? <coughs> Sorry? No, position. You get the position function, okay? Which is S. So, when I integrate this once, okay, so if I stick a giraffe in there on both sides, okay, I get S prime, which is the velocity, V, v standing for velocity. And what's the integral of negative 32? What's the integral of negative 32? Thank you. Plus, plus C. Now read the question, okay? It tells you that the initial velocity is 64 feet per second. So when time is zero, you get 64, and you get negative 32 times zero plus C. So what is C equal to? 64. So your velocity function, which is really S prime of T, becomes negative 32 T plus C. Everybody with me on that? Okay? If you integrate this one more time, what do we get? Integrate S prime of T, what do you get? Uh, DT. And you're going to integrate on this left-hand side. So this is 64. And on the left-hand side, when you integrate S prime, what do you get? So this is what you need to do, okay? From S double prime, you integrate, you get S. You S prime, you integrate one more time, and you get S. Going back the other way, what are you doing? Thank you. You differentiate, and you get S prime, and you differentiate one more time, you get S double prime, okay? So they're related. One way you get derivatives, the other way you integrate, okay? So if I integrate this function here now, on the left-hand side, I will get S of t. Integrating negative 32 t, what do you get? Thank you, negative 16. Is that Gamer? No. no. Oh, that was Janice. And 64, when you integrate 64, plus, plus c. Now you're going to use the initial condition that's given to you here. When time is 0, S is 80, so this is 80 equals C. So your answer to the first part, okay, your answer to this part here is S equals minus 16 T squared, okay, plus 64 T plus 80. That's part A. How about part B? When does the ball hit the ground? So remember, your height is being measured from the ground. So when it hits the ground, what is your height going to be? Zero. zero. So you're going to stick a zero in here. And you're going to solve this equation. OK? And you guys are n-boxes. Right? You guys are n-boxes? Because you can do this without an n-box. You can do this without an n-box. So those people who are manly people can, was that sexist or what? Oh, divided by 16. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to pause here. You guys do this, please. Someone got me an answer on that? Okay. So can it be negative 1? Can time be negative? No. No. So T has got to be equal to 5. Okay. Is everybody all right on this stuff? Yes? Yep. Okay, thank you. All right, one last example and then we are done.